Welcome to part four. Didn't I just see you a couple seconds ago? <laughs> I usually do it don't I usually don't do uh, takes that fast. But this, as you see, this is the uh, Chest Cemetery Pine Box Trail path. But I, the reason why I want to bring you guys up here, I saw something that I wanted to show you guys. Because uh, remember, in one of my last films, I was telling you guys about how the uh, the woods in the springtime turns beautiful colors. Now I'm going to show you something up here. I noticed when I walked by a section of the road back there. See this moss on the side here? In the winter, it's it's not as day glow green as you see it's getting there right now. So part of this trail, see there's the low road. Hey! Patriot that walked down there the other day. <laughs> did you see did you see the ghost? That was the spirit of 76. That was me walking the other day, right down there. <laughs> Just joking. But anyways, see how this trail See, this is moss here. This is how it is in the winter. But up here, see how it's turning like day glow green? This whole trail in the springtime is like the day glow green road. <laughs> see how it's turning day glow green? It's really cool. But I walk barefoot on here for fun <laughs> yeah it's pretty cool yeah I wanted to show you this since we're in the middle of the woods let's talk about something I just talked about in my last subject the, the one subject we really don't like to talk about and as you know the press doesn't like to talk about it either even talk radio. That's right, I'm talking to you, Glenn Beck, Michael Savage, Alex Jones. My three favorite, Michael Savage, Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity. Why aren't you talking about the Gulf of Mexico? If you want to nail Obama and kick him out now, you have to talk about the Gulf of Mexico. But I know, I mentioned, probably in that blog, go to my website at the bottom of this page, SOS, uh, Obama Unleashed, Obama Unleashed Real Life Terminator named Cynthia. It's about a bacteria that they unleashed into the Gulf of Mexico and it eats everything including human flesh and the reason why I brought it up check out down towards the bottom of that I, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep adding things to that blog so go there every you know every time you go to my website go to that blog check it out because I'll keep updating you on more information that I find and uh one last look at the the beautiful moss trail. Like I said, that'll be all that day glow green real soon. And the woods will be springing up with all kinds of beautiful sprouts. It's all green. It's awesome. I can't wait to show you guys. But uh, yeah, go to that blog and check it out all the time because I'm going to try to see how far I can max it with uh, information in there. I'm going to cram that blog until it says I can't blog no more on that one. So anytime, and I'll repost it too when it runs out. You'll notice on my website when you go to my blogs, it has different pages. So like the first six blogs, and then it changes the next page to a fresh page. So uh, I'll keep bringing that one to the top because it's very important. No one talks about it. So it looks like I'm going to have to be a Paul Revere for telling people the truth on what's going on in the Gulf. I'm telling you talk show people, we might not have two years left because that, that bacteria, read that 
towards the bottom of my page there's one that says canary in a coal mine uh read that one i mean listen to that whole it's a long video a talk show about a guy who actually shined the light on it for me about cynthia the synthetic terminator frankenstein monster that obama unleashed on the world and now now it's killing birds and animals and people are getting this virus called the blue flu uh, because of this bacteria so see you guys in part five walk in the warpath